and welcome back. This is Bella Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Nox QZEZ. That's what I'm going with. He is ranked number one in his Platinum Division once again. Just got there. With 1,442 points, 111 wins, and 114 losses. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Red Terran in the Northwest up against Nox QZZ. He is actually a random player, but he spawned as the Blue Protoss in the Northeast. I, I always hate random players that are good because it drives me nuts that I can't beat them and they know three races, and I'm going for one race, and I can't beat them, and they know three. It's like somebody that speaks multiple languages better than you can speak yours. Like, I only speak English. I speak a little French because I took it in high school. I don't speak it very well, though. But if I walked up to somebody and they spoke, you know, English, French, and Spanish, and their English was better than mine, I'd be pissed. You know, but... There we go. You know, he's ranked number one in Platinum, and he is random. So, what do you do with that? What do you... Ex it's, all I saw is that he was slightly favored, and that he was random. So, I, I have no idea what to expect out of this guy. But what I am expecting is a barracks, which is why it's queued up there. His gateway is on the way as well. 11.07, so ooh, his is really late. He's been chrono boosting the hell out of his Nexus, and yes, he has. He's getting a lot of probes. He's getting a relatively early refinery, so I would assume that he's going straight into a cybernetics core. I don't know, do those cost money? Can I hit the build money? It's nice. Uh, don't cost gas. So there we go. No gas. Barracks is almost done here. Refinery is up, and I select too many, so I didn't move anybody. There we go. Just select one, and then move it over. Select one, and move it over. There we go. Fully saturated. Awesome. What is going on here? Oh, he's harassing my SCV. And it stopped me from producing a Marine for a second there. What's going on? There we go. Let's go. Come on. Now you. Your, your turn. Thank you. Good lord. Once again, if you want to get to me, a little bit of harassment. Just a little. Just a little bit. Goes a long way. And I think that's why they do it. You know, why would you harass? Because, you know, you never know if your, your opponent's not going to be able to handle doing something else because he's too busy trying to take out your probe. Cybernetics core is done. Looks like he was saving the chrono boost for a second there. Gonna get the warp gate chrono boosted as soon as possible. Probe gonna chase my SUV again? No. Okay, good. That was my scout in SUV. He does escape with full life. I am getting a supply depot just in case he went for some kind of zealot push here. But he doesn't look like he is because there's a robotics facility on the way. Gateway almost finished as well. Second gateway. I am getting, I should be getting, I am getting a reactor on that first barracks. Two more barracks are on the way. Sentry being made. I don't think I've ever seen a sentry come in before warp gate technology is finished. I've never seen it warped in this way. Interesting. But he is worried about me doing an early push, I guess. That is why he's getting that sentry out so quickly, because it is so gas-heavy. Oh, looks like he just spent more gas getting that Twilight Council. What is going on here? But uh, for all you Protoss players, you learn to use your sentries. If you're not doing, if you're not using your sentries properly, you're not really playing Protoss well. You know, look at that force field. Boom, right there. It can actually block that entire ramp. I don't get it. I thought they they, tr they were going to nerf what could and couldn't block a ramp. But apparently that did not apply to force fields in this patch. I am getting infantry weapons level 1 along with stim pack. That stim pack is really late. And no concussive shells yet. And... Wow. So I'm out of my build. I'm not doing things that I normally do. 
Warp Prism is on the way, as well as a Dark Shrine, which is hidden. Oh, hidden Dark Shrine. You know, Crouching Warp Prism, hidden Dark Shrines. So, any of you watching right now should know what's going to happen. But I, I didn't scout at any point during this game after my initial SCV, as far as I know. I kept on going for the for the mules because I was behind. And that's what that harassment does. It puts me a little bit behind. And therefore, I can't do things that I would normally think of doing. Ugh. So, Dark Shrine on the way. Warp Prism coming in. Any guesses as to where it's going to land? It shouldn't land there. That's a stupid place for it to land. Oh, and I'm supply locked. What is going on with me? It was not a good day that day. I had a massive headache, I'll be honest with you. Uh, so, you know, I actually had the sound way, way, way turned down. So I actually couldn't hear any of the alerts saying, oh, you know, building made, an uh, SCV came out. No. So Dark Shrine is done, and there we go. Instantly. Three Dark Templars. They have two little things here. All three Dark Templars, huh? So they're in, and boom, SCV down. I think it was one-shotted. How much do they do? Yeah, 45 damage. These guys have 45 health. So yes, they one-shot SCVs. This is... So boom, Engineering Bay down. The only detector now that I'm even possible, even even close to having is... Uh, is the scan, which I then waste because my army was out of position. So they're getting all this damage done. Oh my gosh. This this is what I always assume of random players. These guys don't have combat shield. So they're one-shotted as well. I always assume that random players go for something like this. I, 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 and that is why I went, I, I went for a fake block off here with... Um, because I assumed a zealot push. But whenever I see a random player, I always assume, oh, they're going to do something cheesy. And he did. So I'm just kind of waiting around here for a, for a second scan, and boom, there it goes. So I scan, and I'm able to get one. But he microed well, and he's able to get two out. And that is my last scan forever and ever. One more coming in. He is He's just waiting on gas right now. And I don't GG. That, even though that was the best Dark Templar proxy rush I have ever seen in my life, uh, I haven't actually seen any pros do that better. I don't think I've ever seen pros do that, though. He could have used more gas, but, you know, whatever. He won the game. <laughs> uh, you know, a couple more pylons, zealots uh, in his base, but really that was the game. The only other thing that I could have done would have been, once I saw that Zealots were inside my base, lift this place off and go and start doing damage inside his base. Start taking out the pylons um, so that the warp gates don't work. And try to make it a base race. That's the only other thing I can think of besides that. Get a missile turret up. But I would have never put it up here. Um, you know, a little bit back, bad micro, but by that time the game was pretty much over. So there we have it, uh, Proxy Dark Templar Rush. I'm going to still call it a rush because, you know, about nine and a half minutes, nine, nine and a half minutes, Dark Templars are techy, man. That's a lot of tech that he had to go through in order to get to Dark Templars. So nine, nine and a half minutes, I'm going to call that a rush. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game. I hope you laughed, hope you learned, hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.